this. I'll email them if it comes to a point where we're going to start the quiz. Not here. All right, so we're going to take some notes on molarity first. I'm going to share my screen. And I'll post these if you don't want to take notes. Um, so molarity, what is molarity? So I've got this little packet here. This is an electrolyte powder. I um, drink this in the summertime a lot when I do work out a lot and sweat a lot to replenish, right? So if I, this is lemon flavor, I'm not crazy about the lemon flavor. So if I take a bottled water, this little one, and put in half of the lemon, what's going to be the result versus putting in the whole packet of lemon powder? What's the difference between putting half the packet and the whole packet in the water? Concentration. <laughs> the concentration. What does that mean? It might be how enormous. diluted the um, substances. Right. So we're talking about how strong or how dilute something is. And that's what molarity measures, the concentration. Okay. So that's really important in chemistry because if we, it's all about money really, and how much product you can produce and how much money you can make from that product. So if I have a diluted versus a concentrated solution, I have to know how much solute is in there. So solute is what gets dissolved in the solvent. And I need to specifically know so that I can do some calculations and figure out how much product I'm going to get. That's stoichiometry. But at this point, we um, need to be able to figure out how to calculate concentration. So the equation is, Molarity, which is a capital M, it's not slanted either. So there's some, there's lots of different concentration symbols. Capital M, because there's molality and that's a slanty M, is moles of solute per liter of solution. Should I write the whole word out? Solution. All right, so it's just a, a ratio. Okay, so I'll give you a basic problem because there's no basic problem on this handout either. Um, what is the molarity? You guys have a calculator out, right? Because you <clears throat> have a quiz of a um, NaCl solution that contains 0.1 moles in uh, 750 milliliters. Make it a little tricky. All right, so here's our equation. M equals moles over liters or moles per liter. So we fill in the moles. 0.1 moles, and then we fill in the liters. How many liters? Somebody besides Chico. How many liters? 0 0.75. 0. Yes. Three quarters. 0.75. Zero. You got it. Um, yeah, we'll keep up that zero. So yeah, so we just had to convert the milliliters to liters. And then we put that in the calculator. Somebody threw that in the calculator. Point 0.13. Yep. And then we put a big M after it. 
to show that it's a molarity. And then we would put well, the substance. Okay, and so what this says is that I have a 0.13 molar. This is what how it's read. NaCl solution. That's the wording. That's what those symbols mean in, in words. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Ruka? Yeah. Um, for that original formula you wrote, is that a one in front of a liter? And if so, why is it there? Is it always going to be a one? It's always going to be a one. It's just saying that you have one liter of solution. You're not gonna... that... Oh, sorry. But isn't that 0.75 liters? When you fill in. Okay. I'll take it out then. So if I'm making a solution, I'm making a liter of solution, however many moles I put into a liter. But yeah, if I'm not making a liter solution, that number's gonna change. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Thank you. That's fine, I can take it out. Better to have it out. All right, let's do a problem here. Number one, how many grams of barium nitrate? Oh boy, now we need a formula and we need a molar mass. Should be dissolved in 30 milliliters to make a 3.25 molar solution. We got more complex real quick here. So number one, we all work together. We can get it done quickly. We have how many grams of barium nitrate? So I need the formula for barium nitrate. I'm gonna need the liters of solution. And I'm given the molarity. All right, anybody have formula for barium nitrate? BA parentheses NO3 parentheses with the two at the bottom. Yep. All right. So if this is our equation, we have the molarity. Uh, we don't have moles and we're looking for grams. And we do have liters. How many liters? Jonah, how many liters? 0.03. So we've got one, two, three sig figs. So I'm going to keep those sig figs in there. All right. So we're going to solve for moles. And then from there, we're going to convert it to grams. All right. This is where everybody screws up. The simple math. How do I solve for moles? When you divide 3.25 by the amount of liters. No. Multiply. <laughs> you multiply. So we're cross multiplying, right? So this times this equals moles times one. So we multiply. I'll go ahead and write it out. And somebody can multiply for me. Uh, point zero nine seven five. Nine seven five. Can anybody agree with? Does anybody agree with that? That's correct. Yep. So that's the number of moles of barium nitrate. All right. And we need grams. So we need the molar mass. Periodic table. I know nitrogen's 1401 and oxygen 16. Uh, barium is 137.33. Mr. Yeah. So will the quiz have like a problem with molarity or just complex equation uh, complex conversions? It's just conversion. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have one barium, two nitrogen, and six oxygen. Add that up. I like when two people do it to make sure there's, if there's an error. I got a two hundred sixty-one point three five. Yeah, I got that too. Okay, good. All right, so we're done. We just need to calculate one more time. Point zero nine seven five times two sixty-one thirty five. Twenty-eight. 
25.48. I also got that. 28, did you say? 25.48? Yes. So 366. And that gives us grams. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to show you the way I like to do it, but not everybody likes to do it that way. But some people will like prefer to use stoichiometry or conversions. Um, so I'm going to do it that way. So doing the same problem, I'm just going to do a conversion. I'm going to use the molarity as a fraction, just like we use density, grams per liter, grams per milliliter. I'm going to use moles per liter. I'm going to use the molarity because we're given the molarity. So in this problem, we have the 30 milliliters and the 3.25 molarity. So I'm gonna start with the single number. You always start with the single number if you have it because your molarity or your fraction, like your density might be upside down if you don't know where it's supposed to go. I know for sure that milliliters is gonna be in the numerator. <clears throat> I'm gonna convert from milliliters to liters so that I can use the molarity as 3.25 moles per liter. So now I have liters. Moles per liter is 3.25. That's the molarity. And then I have moles and then can go to grams. And you put it in the calculator and you get 25.5. How do you like that? It's up to you whichever way you want to do it. But that's a good way, I think. All right, 2A, how many moles of sodium chloride? One more problem. How many moles of sodium chloride are in 0 0.250 liters of a five molar solution of sodium chloride? I'm not gonna forget it. So we've got, we're looking for moles. Oh, that's the easy one. Too far, though. Is that too long? Yeah, I was having to pause my internet. Mm. All right, well, we're doing molarity, so you can watch the video later. Okay. We're doing a problem, and then we'll move on to the quiz. 0.25, though. We distracted leaders. Five more. All right, that's an easy one. You guys should be able to do this one by yourself. All right, so Jaylon, what we're doing is we're using this new equation and we're talking about concentration of solutions. So when we dissolve something in water, we have to know how strong it is. So we use this unit of molarity to describe how strong how much solute we have dissolved in a solvent, how much salt's in the water. We're using NaCl on this problem. The equation is molarity, capital M, equals moles over liters. So in this case, you're just plugging it in. You don't even have any conversions to do. Sometimes you'll be given grams and you'll have to convert to moles first. Sometimes you'll be given milliliters and have to convert to liters. Anybody have an answer? One point two five, yeah, one point two five moles of NaCl. Anybody else get that? I got it. As I well. got the same thing. I had that as well. So solve for moles, and then we have the molarity, and then we have the liters. So we multiply. That makes sense. Divide five by four. All right, one, let me just do an algebra check for you guys. What if we had, what if we had, what if we're solving for liters? Everybody try to get that answer. Solve for liters. It's just an algebra check. 
because they should get the answer. Uh, I got point two liters. Anybody else get that? Yeah, I got that. Anybody yeah, else? Thing. Yeah. Okay. So just remember when you're solving for the variable in the denominator, these two guys can just switch places. You don't have to you don't have to write it all out. 2.5 times L equals 0.5 times one, and then divide by 2.5, divide by 2.5, because you're gonna get the same answer. If this is an equality, not at times, not a multiplication, then those two can switch places. And it puts the leader up in the numerator and puts the 2.5 in the denominator. So that's easy trick to remember when you're doing your algebra. All right. Um, yeah. Sorry. I just, I'm a little confused on where we got that 2.5 moles and 0.5 or 2.5 molarity and then 0.5 moles. Or is that just like an example we just wrote right there? I just threw that in there to see if you guys knew how to solve for the variable in the denominator. Okay, thank you. Meet it up. Algebra check. All right. Um, okay, so this weekend, we have a long weekend coming up. Uh, you have a video to watch. It has three different types of problems on it. They're not actually even molarity problems. We were supposed to be through molarity at this point, um, but we'll finish up later next week and we have a lab for molarity and we'll do more problems. Um, but this weekend you'll have a, I think it's like 17 minute video where it has three different types of problems. And all you have to do is copy down on paper the, um, the sample problems that Mr. Ader goes through, goes through. It's convenient. The dates are wrong because it was recorded a long time ago when Mr. Ader was home, his kids had the flu or something. So that's all you have all weekend. So let me post the quiz. Did Patrick ever come in? Twenty points, two problems, twenty points. Don't screw it up. Just kidding. Just show all your work. If you don't show your work, I can't give you credit. So there's little tiny points for everything. So you have to show your work. All right, assigned. Oh, you're on. Sure. Okay, so when you're done, you just submit it and then let me know and I'll check and then dismiss you early if you're done early. Can we just do this on paper and take a picture of it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, don't type it no matter what. You gotta write on something, either the screen or the paper. And write your given and your find because different there's different forms of the test out there. If we finish the first one um, before time's up, should we start on the second one? No. 
between. You have 20 minutes to do two problems. Okay, okay. I, I thought we were like doing one. Mm -hmm. Stand by. Okay, thank you. Two problems, 20 minutes. That's it, Casey. Thank it you. should take about five minutes. You have 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. Um, Ms. Rocco. Yeah. Uh, for the second one and the first line, it says uh, magnesium. We're solving uh, for we have magnesium nitrate. In the second line, it says magnesium sulfate. Which one are we uh, using? Oh, good Nitrate. I'm using the first one. All right. Thanks. I guess I'll accept either answer or somebody 
I already did it the other way, but okay, with nitrate. Sorry about that.
Uh, Miss Erica, did you get my quiz? No, Miss Erica. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Casey, while I'm looking. Go ahead. Good question. Um, so, yes, for number two, um, it says magnesium nitrate. Beginning of problem, and later says magnesium sulfate. Is that on purpose or should it? Ma uh, magnesium nitrate, because you didn't hear me say that. So, magnesium nitrate all the way across. Right. Thank you. Oh, I closed my water. Got it open. She turned in. I got Grant and Jacob. Henry. All good. Have a good weekend. All right. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Circa, did you get mine? Um, Jimmy, yes, got it. You good? Have a good weekend. You too. Did you get my quiz? Um, yep, I got it, Jenna. You're good. See ya. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Miss Rico, do you get mine? Um, yep, got it. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I just submitted my test. Yep, I got it. You good? Have a good weekend. You too.
All right, uh, I just submitted my test. Yep, I got it. Have a good weekend. You too. I turned it in my code, Mr. Hen. Did you get it? Um, yep, I got it. You're good. Have a good weekend. I just turned mine in, too. Yep, I got yours, too. All right, All right. see you. <clears throat> Renaco, I'm going to have to, um, I'm still in honors. I'm going to have to close this Zoom before I open the next Zoom. Okay. A little early. They're taking a quiz. <clears throat> I just sent mine. Did you get it? Yep, I got it. All right, thank you. All right, guys, I got to go. Guys and honors, you need to submit that in the next five minutes, okay? Okay, I just finished Um, I just finished writing everything out. I've just got to punch it into the calculator, and then I'll be gone. All right, five minutes. All right, yeah. Nathan, you too? Have a good day. You too, see ya. Yeah, I finished. I'm just, like, checking over to make sure I have everything. Okay, I'm going to log off now. I'm going to start uh, college prep class. See you later. All right, have a nice weekend. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end of it.